Keep your heads lifted up, beautiful family in Jesus Christ, and don't lose hope. Jesus Christ said, let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. And Jesus Christ never lies, and he said he's coming to get us, and he is. So hold fast, and don't let no one take your joy. It is finished. And here's the verse of the day, and it's John 9.25. He answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know, that whereas I was blind, now I see. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, for giving us eyes to see and ears to hear. And he told us right where to look for his signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars. So that's what we're going to keep doing until he comes and takes us to our father's house. And as you can see right here in Israel, they're expecting the new moon right now. And when you go to renewedmoon.com, you can see that it was already confirmed globally, but it's still pending over Israel. And most of you know that Israel is on super high alert and that Iran is warning Israel that its embassies are not safe after deadly Damascus strike. And it says right here that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel was prepared for any response. And as you can see right here, it says Iran's top commander warns that Israel committed suicide with the Damascus attack. And most of you know this too, the Iranian general that was killed in the Damascus strike they're saying he's the one that planned the October 7th attacks. And by now, I'm sure most of you know, when you go to Amos chapter 1, it says that Gaza will be punished, and Jordan, and Lebanon, and Damascus, and then Israel. And prophecy will be fulfilled. So keep your eyes on Damascus, family. And remember, the Jewish people will be celebrating the week-long Passover this month. It starts on April 22nd in Israel, and it ends on April 30th. And remember, they're 10 hours ahead of us on the West Coast, and 7 hours ahead of the East Coast. And I preach it all the time, all glory to our Father. Jesus Christ told me, finding the date of the rapture is not what's important. What's important is what we do until that date. And preaching the gospel and what Jesus Christ did for us so we don't go to hell is the most important thing we can do. It's our top priority. It's the whole reason we're here, family. It's the meaning of life. It's John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And Jesus Christ said, when the gospel is preached to all nations, then the end will come. So keep preaching, family, and keep looking for his lost sheep. It's our job to find them and bring them back to Jesus Christ, our first love. And he said unto them, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And he said, blessed are those who give meat in due season when I come. And the meat is the word of God. And Jesus Christ also said, when you give food and drink to the lesser of the brethren, it's just like giving it to him. So let's keep pushing. Let's keep laboring. This is the great commission. And he also said, it's better to give than receive. But do not give because you feel obligated to. Be a cheerful giver. And if you're not doing it out of love, it means nothing. And remember, Love covers a multitude of sin. And Jesus Christ said, Lay not up for yourselves treasure upon earth, but lay up for yourselves treasure in heaven. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. And if you're struggling with any of this, pray and ask Jesus Christ to give you a heart for the things and the people that he has a heart for. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. And thank you, family. I'm getting ready to hit the streets again. 
and I just finished putting all the backpacks together with food and supplies and Bibles and drink for the lesser of the brethren. And I have five tents also. All glory to our Father and thank you, family. And I'm broke right now and the ministry is out of funds. And I would like to do a lot more for the Lord and work harder and go farther and hit more cities. So if you're feeling led by Jesus Christ to donate to this ministry and help me keep pushing, all my information is in the description box under this video. And God bless all of you that have donated and helped me keep going to this point. I highly appreciate it. I praise God for you. And a lot of you, all glory to our Father, are doing it yourself now. Praise God. But if you can't physically do it or you don't have the time and you do have extra funds, I'll do it for you. And all glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. I've been doing this since 2018. And God willing, I'll be doing it when he comes and gets us. And we all want to do more for the Lord, our Father, Jesus Christ. So let's go all the way up. And keep looking up. Keep your heads up. Now back to Passover. And one of the reasons this is so gigantinormous that it falls on April 22nd. This comment that we've been watching, Pons Brooks, that they're calling the devil comment, which really means the bridge and the water. Ponds means bridge, brooks means water, is right above what they call Jupiter right now in the Lamb, what they call Aries, right below the asteroid they call Lucifer that he showed me many years ago. I've been sharing with you for years now. All glory to our Father. And right next to Lucifer is Spirit, right next to the moon right now. And right between them is my last name that... All glory to our father, Daniel Taylor, showed me a while back. And it makes sense because I'm battling the devil constantly. And I'm hitting him with the word, the sword of God. Now back to the comet Ponds Brooks. As you go through the days toward Passover, you could see on the 21st, it's right in front of the well's mouth. Right there. And now I'm going to show you why this is so gigantinormous. And it's right here on earthsky.org, and it's all over the internet, family. And it says its next perihelion, when it's closest to the sun, will be on April 21st. And remember, that's right when Passover starts. And Passover was the greatest day ever in history. And Jesus Christ's timing is perfect. And I recently went to my mom's and she showed me this bracelet that she's never showed me before. And she said it's been handed down through our family. And there's a lot there. Seven pieces. And as you can see in the right top hand corner, there's the Holy Bible, then praying hands, then a heart with a mustard seed, an actual mustard seed in the heart. And then you can see the calendar next to that. And soon as I seen it, I noticed that there is a diamond on April 21st on this calendar. God is pointing that day out. He wants us to keep telling everyone we can about Passover. He wants us to keep telling everyone we can that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. It's the gospel, family. Let's push it. It's crunch time, and he's coming to get us. Keep your heads up. Let's go all the way up.